So matrix multiply, right? We've already seen how to do matrix multiply. This is my matrix A, this is my matrix B. I multiply them, I get C. I know how to do my blocked algorithm, right? So by now you are all familiar with this, right? How do I write the code for this? So I say for i is equal to zero, i is less than number of blocks. What is the number of blocks? Uh, for simplicity, let me just assume everything is of size n, right? n cross n, all matrices are n cross n. So what will be the number of blocks? n by the block size, right? And let me just assume that n is a multiple of b. i plus plus, that's the number of uh, blocks. For j is equal to zero, j is less than n by b, j plus plus. For k equal to zero, k is less than n by b, k plus plus hash pragma omp task. What am I going to do in this task? So I'm not writing. I'm, I'm just telling you what I'll do over here, right? I'm going to block multiply i k th block of A with K J th block of B and update I J th block of C. Right? I can put this in brackets and write a structured block or I can call a function, whatever, right? But that's what's important. So I'm creating tasks out of every pair of blocks in A and B, right? Not for every C block. So the same C block will get updated by multiple tasks. Is that point clear? Because I'm creating a task for each i k k j. So this is going to update i j. So if k is one, this i one and one j are going to update i j. But for k equal to two, there's another task i two two j, which is also going to update i j. Is this point clear? There are different tasks which are updating the same block in C. Okay. Now C is getting updated, but there's going to be race conditions because we are updating the same variables. So what can I do? So you say depend out. I just need to refer to the right variable, i j. So how do I refer to i j? So let me just define. C blocks, which is of size n by b times n by b. So it's just the number of blocks. It's just a two-dimensional array, right? And now I say out. Let me make this name smaller. I'm running out of space. Let me call it C B. Okay. So I'll say out C B i j. What will be the effect of this? You can use array elements also over here. Not an issue. Okay. So we are just using an array, and uh, I can dynamically, you know, refer to some element of the array. That's the advantage here. So what does this ensure? So I'm launching this in this order, right? When these tasks are launched, I'm launching this first, right? Then. These two, then these two, then these two. So it will ensure that this multiplication happens first. And which element gets updated? Three comma two. Three will depends on the starting index. Yeah, this one, right? This is what is getting updated. So at first, this task will get executed, which multiplies these two. Then this task will get executed. Then this task, and then this task. So there's a dependency in these four tasks. But I have launched all the tasks in one shot. I go through this loop and I launch all the tasks. So all the tasks have been launched, which means that these tasks may be happening in parallel to these tasks, right? So all these tasks which have no dependencies, which are not updating the same block of C, can execute in parallel altogether. There is no dependency between them. Okay.